All right, guys, so we are at Pete's house and just got the ARP studs for the flywheel. And we're able to now put this freaking thing together finally. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is get this engine transmission together in the car, is that it? Yeah. For today? Yep, this yeah, morning. the dips in and all the crap. Dude, it's ready that for an engine and nice. Trans. So what's up with these bolts? I was trying to order them from Fly Miata and Fab 9 and like all the Miata yep. just to avoid ordering them from Amazon and trying to help out like yeah, a company that actually like makes and dude, stuff. they were all out of stock and they were saying, oh, we're not gonna get these till like whenever. And dude, right here, you can order them off Amazon and have them like two days, literally in stock. Ford 1.82 liter. So is that the same engine? Dude, it's the same. Well, it's, it's just a, the same. Clutch. These are for a 1.8. A 1.8 clutch will fit on a 1.6, so it doesn't matter. If you're trying to do flex fuel, and they're all out of stock. Yep. You can get them on Amazon. They say that it's exclusive to Fly Miata, but you can get them on Amazon. And they say to use the thread locker on the threads of the bolt and use the ARP lubricant on like under the head of the bolt, which yeah, it looks like it's right. So, and we also had to get a torque wrench because we got to torque these down to 95 foot pounds, 95. Yeah, I'm uh, unprepared. And, I was yeah, unprepared. unprepared. Clutch is on, torqued. And right now, I'm trying to figure out how to do this because <laughs> I don't remember. happened. I thought it was fucking raining. <laughs> and we had to drag this thing in here. Alright, so we're just gonna have to pick this back up tomorrow or something. Off. It's not raining. It's the next day. Yeah, I'm and now. we yeah, we're all like ready to go. Dude, we're we're about ready to put this thing in. Engine is in. Tranny is in. Bolts are all in. Stuck the turbo manifold on. He's uh, getting the turbo clocked right. Feeds always on top, returns on the bottom, and then the coolant. This is a water cooled one. Don't fill your transmission before you put it in because it'll leak out the tail shaft. And I screwed oh, up my yeah. I screwed up my seal on the heat shield. And Leaked I gotta buy a new all the oil. Oh, that's all fresh new oil. It takes about three quarts, and yeah, that's like a lot. Sixty, yep, like twenty bucks a piece. We got the engine in, trans in, and the next video on the Miata build, we will be putting the downpipe on, all the plumbing for the intercooler. We also have Mega Score the MS3 Pro that he's going to be putting into this. It's like a plug and play standalone ECU and gonna be wiring up some gauges, like a boost gauge, uh, wideband, and we'll cover all the electronic stuff. So, if uh, you guys are into the Miata stuff, definitely stick around, and we will have this thing up and running. Oh yeah, and a uh, fuel pump. Fuel uh, pump? Yeah, we got all electronic stuff pump. to do. Gonna be running the E85 as well, and also got the little E85 sensor, or the Continental sensor. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot more on this Miata, and the whole build documented right here. If you're into that kind of stuff, stick around. If not, my brother, has a VR6 that he's building and he just got the engine and stuff. So definitely check out that video. It'll be coming up probably tomorrow, building the trans, building the engine, GT40. Oh. That thing's gonna freaking fly. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.